Hey Saints, this is Brother Brian. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. Today is Monday, April 15th, 2024. I don't know about you, but today, for whatever reason, this date is, is resonating in my spirit and I don't yet know why. Obviously, there are a lot of things going on. Uh, number one, you probably see that I am uh, in, not in my normal place. Uh, my wife and I are away um, out of state, um, in the states, for a few days. And uh, we are in an undisclosed location, so um, you'll know uh, where we have been once we have returned home. That's just the way that the Lord has led my wife and I. Uh, in order to, um, what is the word, spare us of unnecessary spiritual warfare. <clears throat> Yesterday we um, arrived here where we are at and it was a very, very rough day for me. Um, a lot of physical health related um, uh, issues that I was dealing with and, and I reached out to my telegram to pray to my uh, to my mom, to Diana Larkin, to uh, a friend of mine, of course my wife is praying, and all of us together, I just, I needed it because it was, it was rough, it was really rough. Um, it ended up being that in the late afternoon, the Lord, just like this, within minutes, relieved me of everything, God of mercy. Um, and um, I, <coughs> excuse me, I plan to be doing a video a little bit later, testifying the details of that because I believe it is um, a lesson that we could all learn from so that it can be something that you can hopefully uh, prevent. And of course, it was something that I learned. Um, I, I know I got a testimony out of this, but I would not really want to go through it again. And that's just being honest before the Lord. Um, it was rough. <coughs> It was painful, but um, today is a new day. His mercies are new. God relieved me. I slept well. We're refreshed. And so um, we're just going to enjoy our time. And of course, I do want to bring you a couple of videos. All right. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a prophetic word from Diana Larkin. This one is dated to day, April 15th, 2024. Obviously, you know, we have the issue with Israel and Iran and what's been going on. Uh, yesterday, I actually did not get the chance to, to look up. I tried not to look at my phone too much. Um, so I don't really have the latest details. Um, the only thing that I was able to see this morning was that <coughs> as of yesterday, April 14, 2024, Israel uh, said that they would respond to Iran within the next 24 to 48 hours. So that would make it between today, the 15th, and tomorrow, the 16th. That is our time, all right? So, um, obviously, we continue to pray and bless Israel. And may the enemies of God be scattered. May the souls of the people be saved. But may evil be completely demolished, squashed, annihilated. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, let's get ready to shift into prayer. And then I'm going to give you this word and I'm going to let you go, all right? So Lord, we come before you in prayer, Father, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and we honor your name and we thank you. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for being our healer. We thank you for being our deliverer. You are worthy. You are great. You are mighty, worthy of all praise, all praise, Lord. Father, we honor the blood and we reapply the blood of Jesus upon us. We acknowledge the blood of Jesus. We acknowledge and reinforce the full and complete armor of God upon us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, seal and sear us airtight in Jesus' mighty name. As we continue in prayer, blessing you, Father, thanking you, but also standing in the gap for Israel and for the children throughout the world and for justice and for your servant DT who begins today the hush money trial. Father, vindicate your people, your servant. We bless Israel. May its borders be expanded and established before you, O God. 
God of Israel, respond to your enemies. However you will it to be, your will be done. We agree and we align and join our will with yours. We thank you for this word we're about to receive. We thank you for the saints, Lord. I just want to thank all my telegram brothers and sisters who were praying for me and for my wife and who will continue to pray for us over the next several days while we are out and about. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Father, for your people. Thank you for your saints, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to be able to come, even during vacation, Lord, to continue to serve you and to help keep your, your saints encouraged and informed, Lord. It is a joy and honor. We give you all the praise and the glory, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right, April 15th, 2024, this prophetic word, Diana Larkin, is entitled, The Smoke of Babylon is Rising. And yes, look in the description, please do, to see how you can follow Diana Larkin if you are not already following her, so that you can stay connected and informed and read these words in advance or uh, repetitively in, um, at your leisure. Amen? Praise the Lord. All right, Father. The Lord said this, um, before the word begins, Diana says, This morning, as I waited in the Father's presence, I smelled smoke, the heaviest smoke I've ever smelled in the Spirit. He told me that I was smelling Babylon burning, and that the smoke would rise for several years as the evil empire is systematically burned down by his hand. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. The Lord spoke and he says, The smoke of the evil empire, your present-day Babylon, will be rising for several years. I feel the Lord wants me to pause right now and just tell you, the Lord is referring to Babylon. I personally do not believe he is speaking about America, the nation, all right? Because I know there's a, there are some people out there who believe that America is Mystery Babylon, uh, or Babylon in this case. I personally believe the Lord is speaking of the wicked rulers, people who are in, quote, power at this moment, ruling over the world, trying to, to I'm just going to say it, their pathetic attempts to try to live forever, to become gods, to rule this earth, because apparently they don't have any other hobbies. It's ridiculous, and it's the spirit of the enemy. It's the devil trying to usurp and trying to be someone. Well, he is nothing. He is a punk. He's a fool. He is the forever loser, as the Lord has spoken to Tim Sheets, and he will never have this earth. For God says, thank you, Lord, Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And it is also written that the Lord has given the earth to the children of men. So let us, his ecclesia, his mature ones, his remnant, arise and exercise our authority and our power in Christ from Christ, through Christ, to extend the kingdom and bring the kingdom into this world. Amen. Oh, I thank you for your presence, Lord. So, now, Babylon. The Lord is speaking, I believe, of the system, okay? Not America as a nation. Um, all right. The smoke of the evil empire, your present-day Babylon, will be rising for several years. It will get to the place where you smell smoke. That when you smell smoke, you will know that it is a sign of another building, monument, hiding place, or agenda of darkness burning down. I will do this over the space of several years, says the Lord, because it would be true, too traumatic for the people if I did it all at once. Some of these places of great evil will be consumed in minutes. As I release my fire upon them, nothing will put out the flames that I start. 
fires will be too hot for firefighters to approach. Each of these fires will expose deep darkness and depravity that will shock the conscience of the sleeping church and the deluded public. The fear of my name and my ways will rise in your land. Just as the smoke of Babylon is burning, will be seen and smelled. My leader, who is a builder, will champion rebuilding and restoration with excellence and with a foundation of justice and righteousness. Come on, saints, you know who that leader is. The one that the Lord has called is Cyrus for this time. The one whom the Lord has called is David. The one who has continued to stand against all evil. And he speaks harshly and roughly and is rugged. Why? Because some of, some people may think, oh, I don't like him. How can he be a believer? And how can he say this about God and that he believes in this and that when he speaks so ugly and this and that? Have you ever considered that he's addressing evil and darkness? And if you think that is wrong, well, how do you address evil in darkness? Or do you even do it? Or are you walking along with it that you never have to make a stand speaking against the evil in darkness? Talking about the devil and demonic spirits and so forth. Because if you yourself have not dealt with that, then perhaps, no offense, perhaps you are no better. My God, the boldness of God is coming up. DT must speak harshly when he's speaking about the evils that these spirits are doing through people. You don't talk to the devil. Oh, you know, devil, I rebuke you, so please, please go away. Please don't bother me. Really? What kind of wuss in the kingdom of God is going to speak that way? And, and no offense, and the Lord back up. And the enemy actually listened. No, the word of God has shown us what men and women of God should be like. Yes, righteous. Yes, full of love. But when it comes to darkness and evil, bold, fierce, because we are warriors, not worriers, not those who shrink back in fear. Now, I understand for new believers, it is a process, of course, absolutely. But I want to address that because there are people who say things against DT because of this. And that is a carnal and very ignorant type of comment. All right? I get it. Now, to the brethren, to the people, of course we should not speak to one another this way. But when it comes to evil, we need to be firm because God hates evil. Why should we not hate what he hates and love what he loves? That's the word for those who want to go back to the scriptures. That's the word. That's the scriptures. Amen? <clears throat> All right, let's finish up this word. Thank you, God. The Lord was just talking about his leader. And he said, he said, My leader, who is a builder and will champion rebuilding and restoration with excellence and with a foundation of justice and righteousness, he... Uh, the smoke of Babylon rising will signal the destruction of a season of evil that ruled your land. From the ashes, a new day and a new era will arise in my glory and my blessing. Look forward to the new dawn of an era of peace. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, God. Look forward to the new dawn of an era of peace and plenty. <laughs> What's another word for that, saints? Abundance. Peace and plenty. God says, but do not forget that your God is a consuming fire. Huh, that kind of confirms what I was saying about T.T., huh? The Lord is loving and kind, but when it comes to evil, darkness, sin, he is... <coughs> A consuming fire. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for confirming what you were leading me to speak. Praise be your name. And the scripture at the end of this prophetic word is Hebrews 
29. Hebrews, sorry, Hebrews 12, verse 29. From the New King James Version says this, For God, our God, is a consuming fire. And then, from the Passion Translation, it says this, For our God is a holy, devouring fire. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. The Lord is speaking to us now what we shall be seeing, even sensing with our smell. Amen. Perhaps some of you will pick it up in the spirit. Um, I mean, my wife and I are here in a hotel, and well, we smelled something in the hallway. I can't say that it was smoke, but it was an interesting smell. But the next time we walk out, we're going to... We're going to see perhaps that's what we're smelling. I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm sure we will all keep uh, our awareness heightened, amen, with this information. All right, saints. Well, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to try to keep it short. Uh, this is my first video doing from the hotel, so I don't know if it'll take a long time to upload or not. So I guess it will be a little test run for a short video. Uh, plus, I do kind of want to keep them short, at least for the next several days. Uh, the Lord has... Uh, gave me a dream a couple nights ago and some of the interpretation that came uh, was sharing that I need to I need to also rest and be more in him and so even though I will bring you things I believe the Lord is wanting me to to you know go and get out and about uh, in nature and the sunshine and not be too bogged down amen so continued prayers for Israel um, and if you're on my Telegram channel, you'll still get lots of updates. My administrator is, is just doing excellent <coughs> and keeping you all and myself informed. So um, many blessings to her. Amen. All right. So saints, feel free to comment down below. I know I didn't have you type anything. I can feel even as I was reading the word that the enemy was trying to confuse my words. So uh, I'm going to be... Um, more aware of that in my next video and if i have to pray in tongues throughout the video and, and and more so well then we will do just that amen thank you all for your prayers um and of course you know wherever we are we are releasing the anointing the presence of god praying in tongues a lot and enjoying a time to also rest and do some sightseeing amen so god bless you love you all don't forget to subscribe hit the like button leave a comment and if you haven't explored the button underneath the um, where the title is and so forth that says join, go ahead and tap the button just to see what it's about and see if that's something that you would like to participate in. There are a few extra perks and it is a way for you also to be a blessing if you are led by the Holy Spirit to do so. Amen. Love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.